subscribe to new little YouTube channel and go stop ping on the notification bell. Subscribe to new little YouTube channel and go stop ping on the notification. New links, top vlogger, top vlogger. Big up new links, cause him a top vlogger. Vlogging it up. Bless up, bless up viewers and subscribers. Big up in a cell, man. I don't know, so they attacking boss there and the new link from new link production. So viewers and subscribers, the other day, I was spoken to some persons, right? And these persons are not Jamaicans. But they was asking me, like, New Link, how much does, you know, your passport work? Like, how much countries you can travel to without a visa and thing? And to be honest, my viewers and subscribers, at the time, I could have just tell them, like, the countries them. I know a few, but not, I could have just tell them out of my head like that. You understand? Because to me... I don't think our passport at the time was that powerful or big pertaining to some passports out there. And in the end now, viewers and subscribers, I just going through this morning and I came across an article, you understand, which is really telling me about the passport. So I decided that, you know what, I'm really going to do a vlog on this, you know, with this article because, you know, maybe... That person out there asking me that question and there's a lot more persons out there would like to know the same. And maybe I can use my platform to just, you know, give a highlight about this. So I feel really great to do this now. So attacking boss, go to work. <laughs> yeah, man. Measured against most of its CARICOM neighbors, the Jamaican passport is worth very little. The power of a passport is measured by the number of countries a passport holder can visit for tourist purposes without having to obtain a visa or with the ease of getting one on arrival at the port of entry. Known as the Visa Free Scoring VFS system, a high VFS score ensures that the passport holder as a greater measure of global mobility, the Henley Passport Index, using data provided by the International Air Transport Association (IATA), has been doing this survey for 14 years. In its 2020 report, Jamaica gets a ranking of 58 for having visa-free access to 86 countries, falling behind countries like Barbados with travel privileges to 161 countries. 61 countries, St. Kitts and Nevis with visa-free access to 156 countries and the Bahamas gaining access to 155 countries. In our region, only Cuba, Haiti and the Dominican Republic fall below Jamaica in this index. Chano Star! Wow! Wow! The Henley Passport Index goes beyond ranking passports. It also advises high net worth individuals about which additional passports will improve their mobility. And in it is countries like Grenada, St. Lucia and St. Kitts and Nevis which are being recommended where participation in the citizenship by investment program CIB gives access to desirable destinations in Europe, the United States, US and beyond. Unquestionable, the value of the Jamaican passport has dis diminished significantly over time. Take the Cayman Islands for example. Once a dependency, dependency of Jamaica, it now requires Jamaicans to get a visa in order to visit. To add insult to injury, a Jamaican with a US visa can enter the Cayman Islands from any US port, but not directly from Jamaica. Even if the passport holder has a UK visa, which technically governs the Cayman Islands, it does not count. Just see I know people. Wow, now I'm learning a lot also, you know. No joking about this, this is serious. Stunted mobility. It is therefore pointless for anyone to pretend that the Jamaica passport has heft. This is why we were puzzled by National Security Minister Horace Chang's declaration that the Jamaica passport was punching above its weight. It is not weight, it's measured by the global mobility of a passport held holder and as far as Jamaican is concerned, it is stunted. Dr. Chang was speaking at the Upgraded Passport Immigration Citizenship Agency, PICA, Center in Montego Bay. He landed that the agency for acquiring ISO 9001-2015 certification, he said. We must now recognize that this quality of service brings increased value to our Jamaican passport. 
It means that when you travel with a Jamaican passport, the receiving country can accept that passport with a level of confidence. Wow, meaning, you know, on certain level, I guess. Pika's work is to be commended for it has raised the quality of service available to passport seekers. It appears to have succeeded in eliminating undesirable elements from the system and has brought a measure of efficiency to customer service. We hope they will maintain those standards. Worrying legal and humanitarian concerns at many borders have resulted in greater policy attention being placed on the movement of individuals but even as countries establish better surveillance and regularity measures to keep tour terrorists and smugglers at bay. Border policy is fraught with politics. Many of our citizens have behaved in grossly antisocial ways and participated in criminal activities overseas for which they have been punished. However, the majority of Jamaicans do honor their visa privileges and act within the law. Should the majority be punished for the indiscretions of the minority? Recently, the Trump administration threatened to impose sanctions on countries which were more than 10% of their citizens have overstayed their time in the US and there have been new visa arrangements for the Chinese. What is interesting is that like Jamaica, the US has fallen in the rank of the index and come 2021, Americans will need to get visas to visit Europe in the post-Brexit era. Janua, Janua, so yo. <laughs> visa arrangements change, change from time to time depending on relationships between countries. But a high-ranking passport makes a definite statement about how robust a country's diplomatic relations are and its foreign policy initiatives to secure reciprocal arrangements for its citizens. So while we applaud ISO 9001 certification, we think our government should insert visa arrangements in future trade and airline deals. We feel certain that growth in passport power is of great interest to citizens who want assurance that their passports will guarantee them worry-free travel and ease of access to more countries in the world. So, viewers and subscribers, this article is really very interesting. People, you understand? And yeah, people, reading this thing is not easy, you know what I mean? Because reading something where you came, you're coming across some things you're not even know. So while you're reading this, you're just thinking at the same time, people. And wow, I'm telling you, yo, this give me really an eye opener to a lot of things that I not even know, people. So basically, you say that the Jamaica passport is worth little nothing. You understand, little nothing, people. Oh my world, oh my precious new link. It is great to have the password, people, but you know what I mean? Just imagine there's only few countries, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. You understand? Only them we rank above, you know, where we can travel to. You understand? So much countries that the Caribbean and them passport can go so much places. But when you come on to Jamaica, people, boy. Mm -mm, without a visa we can't enter, without a visa we can't go there, you understand? And in the end people, there's a lot of people who make things bad for us because before you know, we did have a lot of countries just like the Cayman Islands where we could have gone without a visa but because of crime and violence and how oh, people go and overstay and do this and do that, you know? So in the end, the good ones have to suffer for the bad. But according to what this article is saying, people, if the minister, who is Mr. Oris Chang, and the government, the prime minister, Mr. Olness, can find some means and some ways to try to mend some things with certain country, so our passport can get a higher ranking, people, you understand? Because it all have to do with the countries, you know. It all about the countries. So if them can go build a relationship with some countries and we can travel there, we don't have to get the visa, that will be great. Yeah, of course it would be great people, you know what I mean? But in the end, boy, with the rate of how a lot of Jamaicans go and deal with things as some foreign countries, people, you just make a thing bad, you know, and it's hard, you know, but I'm just praying and hope, because that'd be nice, you know, you want to go on a vacation, man, and you have your passport, and you have your traveling money, your vacation money, and you can just go chill and relax, you understand? But in the end, people, 
people are looking about this looking about the safety for their country and for their people you understand and you know how you come they come and up them thing and deal with them things certain way you know but you don't know the thing of yours and subscribers man just giving you a head up on the passport thing and you know hope you do learn something from it people and you know what i mean for y'all who never understand her because some people have the passport but they don't know the value of the passport or how much does it really worth so in the end the attacking boss giving us something great on a day yeah. today right, what the 26th so oh, today what boxing day oh some countries say them not nah, deal with it for the monday while some countries are gonna deal with the holiday thing on the monday while some just make it work on the saturday basically jamaican say for them boxing day today you no know, normal way to be on the monday but because of the corona thing and everything then just a try to deal with the thing that we are so you don't know the thing of yours and subscribers man just more love people more respect and just be good and be great and be safe out there you understand and Happy holidays, man, and you don't know. Peace out and big up. Attack!